Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. What are you, what? What prompted you to get into this business? Oh, you for the, yeah, I'm about, oh. I'm about to go there too. Yes. Oh, well, yeah. shit. After the game stopped, because they didn't really like my dad there, so they fired him, and then they start treat me like shit. So if you see my interview with Charleston White, that shit's true because yeah. they, fire, they fired me from GameStop as well because they didn't like my dad. So, boom, I had went to this cell phone job and then they had let people go. So they let me go and then, boom, that's when... I, 2010 summer, I was at um, Home Depot and then it was too hot because I was pushing carts. And then, so I quit. I went and how to, old were you at this time? I was t 19, 20. Okay. And then, um, and still uh, living at home with mom and dad, definitely. Okay. And that's one thing I preach. I feel like uh, kids who you know are fresh out of high school don't rush out the house. Um, you know, because that's a black culture. Is like I since I've been here, I hear a lot of um, parents that say, "Oh, as soon as they they're eighteen, bad, they're out of the house." I don't. But see, when you see Mexicans, they it's, say it's twenty in the crib. They. Build, they stack their money up and then they all start five, six different businesses out of that one family mm -hmm. because when you're 17, 18, you're still a kid. You know, you, you don't know yourself. I didn't find myself till I was like 23, 24. I didn't know my purpose. So to... to but back to that though, when you talk about Hispanics, the part that I don't agree with because what I see with a lot of Hispanic culture, you can get married, like you get married, yeah. The men always end up going to live with the wife's parents, mm -hmm. always. and and I'm like, why is that? So why not the woman live with the yeah, man's parents, know. and they'll stay there for a long time. A long time. But but that what they're doing is when they stay with each other, they're all putting their money in to a business, and it forms ownership. And you do that a hundred times, that's a community. But you imagine living with your in-laws. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, with black people, we kick our we send our kids out you know what mm -hmm, i'm saying so mm -hmm. um my dad was that type of person he was like you know you're getting older because at that time I, I was living uh home depot best by time i was living with my mom and dad and they were going through it my mom is the hustler type she's the one that's like yo you can stay here just pay 50 dollars a week and i trust you i believe you my dad he's by the book yo go go to college military this this and that so by the grace of God, they divorced. And my mom- <laughs> By the grace of God. Yeah, you know, because my mom then she needed my help. Okay. She was like, you know, if you could pay an extra 50, you could stay here, cool. I'll pick up my little sister after school. You don't got to get off early. So I became a man of the house then. Mm -hmm. So if they didn't get divorced, I think my dad would have kicked me out and it wouldn't have been a say cheese. Oh. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.